Hey guys, welcome back to my master class. And in today's class, we are going to discuss the concept of article writing. Uh, article writing, personally, I love that topic a lot because uh, for some reason we come across so many articles around us, even blogs. Blogs are quite similar to articles, right? So uh, that is why I could easily crack the code of the techniques which I'm going to share with you all in the class today that as in what exact steps we can follow to write a very good article. Uh, I always try and make sure that in my classes I give you exact steps and templates because these are the things which will help you to shoot your marks instantly, immediately after watching the, my videos. So let's get started with the video. Uh, before we move ahead with the video, let me tell you that uh, in case if you have not followed me on my Instagram handle, do not forget to do that because after this class, which is going to be premiered on my YouTube channel, I'm going to upload the assignment on the story of my Instagram handle, which I'll be discussing in my live sessions. So it is very good for you if you finish solving those assignments based on the topic that I'm discussing today and keep it ready for the discussion so that you can give uh, you can ask me live questions uh, during the live sessions. So let's get started with the video. I'm going to share my iPad screen right now with all of you. So as you all can see on my screen, today's masterclass is going to be on article writing. And before we go ahead, let's understand what do you mean by the word article? So basically, gen uh, you must have read the articles in publications in newspapers, magazine or journal. What do you think is the major intention behind writing these articles? The one of the major intention is spreading awareness on certain on a certain topic that is very important. Secondly, if we notice, article is written for a wide audience. Now, understand a publication, a newspaper, or a journal. You know, the second important part of article writing is it is written for wide audience and it is essential to attract and retain the reader's attention. Now, when I say that attract and retain the reader's attention, when you talk from my perspective, very, very important part over here is your title. Nobody is going to read the whole uh, article without reading the title. If your title is attractive, only then we are going, we will be able to, you know, people will read your article. Otherwise, people won't even pick up that magazine in case if your article is the first article or that newspaper. So the title is a crucially important and the most important po point is the flow because we want people to read it throughout they do they should not stop reading in between they should not skip reading the article so the flow or the structure you can say is very important and then at the end what is the action so in case if you're writing a persuasive article what is the action that you would want your reader to take so that is action that you're trying your readers to take which is also called as conclusion i always tell my students to make sure that there are two important strategies followed when they are writing conclusion it should not be repetitive and it should be action sentence i would say or the paragraph so wherein you are telling your audience to take a specific action for what you have talked about throughout the article next is it may include amusing stories reported speech or description now why is that so article is supposed to be very 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 interesting and what makes a writing interesting a writing is interesting if it, it uh, contains certain uh, short stories which are very interesting to read, which is creating some sort of suspense, mystery, or which is trying to be very relevant with the audience. Very important thing is make it as relevant as possible. Interesting and relevance go, goes hand in hand. Always remember something which is relevant to you is always interesting. very very important relevance and interesting they go hand in hand so this is one simple strategy in, in fact if you have seen a lot of youtubers if you see they are since we are on we are watching this on youtube channel why are they famous you know some very uh, some extremely loved youtubers because they make it make whatever content they are making extremely relevant to the audience they are targeting and that makes those audience love them and watch 
their videos exactly why you are watching my video on my channel because i am making a relevant content same thing is applicable to article because the purpose remains the same here i am making a video there you are writing something so when you are writing something it should be relevant and the relevance makes it interesting and how will you make it relevant by putting in good interesting stories amusing stories horror story mystery stories suspense stories short story don't end up writing the whole article as one story short interesting snippets from stories to be more precise i hope i'm clear until here the next part is it can be formal or informal depending on the target audience let's say if you're writing a, an article for teenagers if you keep it extremely formal you know you're not using any gen z words like you know whichever words teenagers uses or uh, it makes it boring even if it is really interesting article because it is not relevant again we are uh, filtering down to the word relevance if it is not relevant to that particular audience they won't like it similarly if you're writing an article for corporates for people who are into uh, who are professionals basically they will not love an art or like an article which is extremely casual because their mindset at that point of time when they are reading that article is that their mindset is understanding your audience's mindset is crucial and is very 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 important moving on to the next important part is okay we have covered this part written in interesting and entertaining uh, manner and the next one is should give opinions and thoughts as well as facts very important here of course give your opinions always remember a simple strategy i use is i use opinions with facts opinions written with facts make it evident and acceptable when you're giving an opinion if i say we should not be using a uh, airplane if not required because of the amount of um greenhouse gases released by airplane right if i give you some statistics or some fact that one of there are two major reason for global warming you know one is consumption of beef if i if i'm not wrong correct me if i'm wrong and the second reason is usage usage of airplanes so i believe one time if you use airplane it takes some 100 years to get that um global warming get those global warming gases away so basically the whole context of this particular example was make give what whenever you give an opinion give it with a fact because it is more credible and acceptable very important so that covers our important aspect that is what exactly is an article now moving on to the next part what does an article do an article can describe an experience event person or a place very important now when you talk about experience talk about the feelings what is the meaning of experience close your eyes and think about an experience what will you do you will feel what happened with you then right so an experience is always relevant to feeling when you talk about an event what do you do you see you listen you hear that was an event how was it describe about it where it was describe where wh questions to be precise describe wh question where what how all these questions that is description of an event a person what are the most important attributes of a person your achievements then there could be uh, the personal i would say how that person has impacted the society so impact future what that person is trying to do in future and how is it going to impact the society and next some history but this if backed up by a story you will crack the code an article backed up by a story nothing like that you will crack it all again the place what do we do we see we experience so something you see plus experience right talk about it tell me what all you should write in when you see an experience because see when i look at thing i try to relate it to my senses you know 
experience is something I feel when I close my eyes I go back to that memory lane and I experience that particular memory I know I cannot see after closing my eyes I cannot hear after closing my eyes or after when I'm uh, trying to visualize something I can only feel it and experience it next moving on to the next part that is present an opinion or balanced argument now here it's mostly relevant to discursive writing okay this is very important and again if you're writing a discursive writing you can compare and contrast provide info information d goes without saying but do not overdo it how how you can avoid doing that keep it relevant to the topic and non repetitive don't keep on saying the same thing all over again in the uh, article it's it makes it boring okay this is very important offer suggestions offer advices yes you can in case of discursive writing but if you are using argumentative style use facts plus arguments we will talk in we i will be explaining you this part in detail when we will uh, basically understand argumentative writing and uh, persuasive writing and discursive writing and descriptive and narrative in detail but for now you just understand the uh, the idea behind what i am trying to tell you okay next part moving on to the next important part that is a realistic article should consist of a title i have a small trick to write a very good title you know you might not get it everywhere but trust me it works for me and my students always and you guys are my students because you are watching and trusting me so this trick is your title should be a dependent clause okay and write use of punctuation especially if you want to write a very in a very eye catchy uh, Uh, a very eye catchy title right use of punctuation let me give you an example okay now let's say i want to write uh, a title for the topic of mental health all right so let's take an example here the topic says mental health okay in this case i can write it in two way one way is following all about you can say all about mental health this is one way of writing and the second way i am writing using the rules i have given above not okay i have used punctuation i have used dependent clause do you think it creates a sense of curiosity in the audience when you look at this particular style of writing title and this one is like boring people would know yeah this article is all about mental health it is not creating that curiosity in them because you would want people to spend money buy that magazine or that newspaper or whatever wherever you have written the article and read it they will do that only if it is creating that curiosity because humans by default we all are curious if something we don't know we waste all our energy time money to figure out why it is whether or not that is helpful for us but if you know something and somebody gives you a ready made cake and you will be like fine you know so curiosity creates that interest to figure out what it is all about that can happen using this beautiful strategy use dependent clause and use punctuations all right now uh, think about okay introduction which clearly defines the topic to be covered and keeps the readers attention okay now when i talk about introduction okay first very important i'll write it here only there is less space so i'll just add a page to here to this thing so when i write about introduction see if you are trying to create this is my personal strategy you can use rhetorical questions you can use quotes you can use anecdotes you can use personal uh, your real life examples so what i what did i say 
आर एच क्वेश्चन ओके यू कैन यूज कोड्स यू कैन यूज एनेकडोट्स यू कैन यूज रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल्स ओके पर्सनली आई लाइक मोस्ट यू नो वेन आई आई वॉज रीडिंग सो मेनी आर्टिकल्स फ्रॉम सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आई लव दोज हु स्टार्टेड विद एन एनेकडोट ओके नाउ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट समटाइम्स एनेकडोट्स आर मेड अप ऑल्सो यू कैन एड दैट स्पाइस एंड मसाला इन दैट टू मेक इट मोर ड्रामेटिक इट माइट नॉट बी एज ड्रामेटिक एज यू शोड इन एज यू एक्चुअली फेल्ट एन यू नो you felt it or you experienced it but it can be dramatic if you don't have article and it is getting too if you don't have anecdote and if it is getting too personal you can switch to real life example again make it dramatic as dramatic as you can you can use imagery i would say that do that you know i would say do it use imagery use different techniques to some figurative language some idioms some phrases to make it as dramatic as possible i'm not giving you any rule to make it dramatic i leave it open to you learn the language and play with it how you however you want to play with it but make sure you know the right technique to play that is very very important play the way you want everybody will write it a different way i cannot say that you know write it this way only or that we only make it dramatic it makes it interesting to read already you have written a very curious kind of title then you are writing a dramatic introduction it is going to definitely attract the attention of the audience and that's what we want right when we talk about the next thing that is the body of the article stick to so adhere to the tone that you are sticking to so uh, any you know if you are trying to convince the audience that you should make sure and take active participation in uh, following sustainable goals any of the sustainable goals it can be gender equality it can be um, poverty or whatever whichever stick to it give some stick to the tones okay i'll write over here i'm talking about the body of the article give examples give facts if you know and if you can give statistics people love those who talk with numbers numbers are important when you cannot give statistics it's fine give roughly on an average so many people on an average say that roughly nobody is going to cross question you because you approximately you use that word to give to give statistics but give some statistics okay if i don't know you know what percent of the earth is covered with water exact percentage i will say approximately 70% of the earth is covered with water you will you will agree to that because the number is somewhere around 70 i might not i definitely actually i don't know right now if it is 70 or 70 point something but i know it is 70 and that's what i have learned throughout my life so speak that way it is very important next is uh, the structure when i say the structure don't overdo anything means if i if you are using rhetorical question don't overdo it if you are using figurative language don't overdo it let the charm be there in that particular sentence only you know if you are using punctuations like you know exclamations and question mark don't overdo it that is the best way to follow a structure do not break the uh, i would say the feeling that the introduction has created so so, so gradually move on to the next thing you know you started with let's say amusing story slightly move on to a little more serious topic then more serious then really serious so you know gradually build up the you know aura of your writing don't simply move on from an amusing story to something really tragedy tragedy story so you have to stick to the structure simple way easy way to do it gradually do things there are many dictionary definitions of writing a structure which you will get on google but what i am saying you will get on my channel only so i hope you have better subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram anyways moving on to the next thing is your i think body is more than enough for now i am going to elaborate a little more with some writing styles further right now so um, moving on to the next part is before you begin writing it's important to consider where who okay i missed it so where you have to know that where it, you're going it is going to appear newspaper or magazine magazine if you see they have certain set of people you are targeting if it, if it's a business magazine a teenager is not going to buy a business magazine right 
if it's a comic kind of magazine a an uh, uh, a professional is not going to buy that so stick to what think understand read between lines why who is going to read this article which age group which professional group which uh, financial group which uh, country you know think about it at least figure out when you think about it automatically you will choose such examples if let's say i give an example of warren buffet to age group of 10 to 15 year old will they like it will they relate to it they won't even half of the kids won't even know who is warren buffet if i give example of diary of a wimpy kid example from diary of a wimpy kid that is greg's life something that greg has gone greg has gone through i'm damn sure most of the kids at least 90% would relate to that harry potter few kids again it's a little millennial thing because during our teenage years we used to watch harry potter now there are i'm sure there are many other things that people watch so stick to even when you choose the example the idioms the phrases whatever make it as relevant again coming to that king word relevance so make it as relevant as relevant as much you can okay and then understand what is the aim of the article yes if you are just going to discuss you are advising you are suggesting you are informing you are con- comparing you are contrasting you are describing you are persuading whatever you are doing make it clear in your head so i always tell my student to answer this in their planning okay very very important answer in your planning this part so when you plan answer where who and what and write down at least 3 points for each question i hope i'm clear until here going on to the next very beautiful slide it's like short and sweet and lot of data is covered over here but i'm so sorry if it's not very clear i couldn't get a better uh, image for this but yeah we can go ahead with this one so these are some techniques that we can use emotive forceful rhetorical chatty statistics criticize cluster of three personal pronouns humor play on the reader sympathy very important you know this is very beautiful way. so whenever you are trying to address the abstract nouns that is the feeling of your readers play on sympathy play on empathy very very well you can do it if you are trying to show somebody or trying to show that you guys should take this action use exaggeration use repetitive words catchy phrases and slogans figure of speeches contrast make positive points personal anecdotes make negative points impersonal i'm going to talk about it in future in a separate video or about each and every persuasive technique in detail because i believe this video will only go on till 25 or 30 minutes if i'm not wrong okay i believe th- i think so that this video will be stretched until 25 or 30 minutes so i don't want to make it even more longer i'm going to address these thing in my further videos not too late in this particular month only so don't worry before your exams we are going to discuss it very important thing here is if you would want this document to be shared with y'all uh, please dm me on my instagram handle uh, i will share the link over there it's very important you might not get immediate response but you will get response from my team on on my instagram handle so yeah now moving on to the last part that is your conclusion and i already talked about it at start you have to remember three things in conclusion what action you want them to take okay one action two keep it relevant i always keep saying this thing and non repetitive very important and make it direct very important don't ghuma phira ke don't say things you know if i speak a little bit of hindi because i'm from india so you might that one word ghuma phira ke is you know don't just go around the places and talk about something so i hope you enjoyed watching my video on must on okay so i hope this class was very 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 helpful for y'all and again i'm saying again i'm reminding i'm okay i'm reminding again that do not forget to follow me on my instagram handle stay active on my post and comments because this channel is going to help you ace your exams stay tuned until then take care bye bye signing off